The biggest amount of work that I'm aware of being done today was the location and roughing in of the sewer and some of the other plumbing. There's the sewer line, that's, uh, that piece of ceramic tile, that orange colored thing right there. And I better be careful not to fall into the pit, because then the key keeper would have to fish me out. And Forget he that, probably... I'm going inside with air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, if these are my friends, I'd hate to see my enemies, I'll tell you what. Anyway, there's the ceramic tile that went to the trailer when the trailer was here, which predates my ownership of the property. Anyway, they're in the process of digging down, and they have roughed in the sewer pipe here. We had our plumber here today. They also poured, the concrete guys also poured this, um, this other footing, so now it's a complete enclosed square, or a rectangle, really. And there's some cover over the pipe here. This was so nice and flat and graded. Sure is a switch from what it used to look like, isn't it? They've been in here roughing it up. They've got this thing here in preparation to, to pour the rat wall, which is going to be a little concrete stub that runs a bit above the ground. Here's the uh, pipes that are sticking through the ground. Waste vent. Don't know about that one. Vent stack. And then over here, this blue thing. This is actually flexible water line because we're going to have water running into this place to facilitate the use of a sink and a toilet. And it comes out over here on the other side. We thought maybe we'd made a terrible mistake because we hadn't told the concrete guys that we wanted to have them provide us a place for us to run the plumbing in. But they were on it. They put a piece of pipe in the wall in this footing and so that was no big deal. This is plastic tubing of all things. I oh, thought... Hex. I know what it's called. I thought they might have, um, I really thought they might have run copper, but I guess they don't do that anymore, Plastic's so. Cheaper. Plastic's cheaper. Of course, the key keeper would know. He's in the water conditioning biz these days, <laughs> in addition to all his other good rackets. <laughs> so when they get that, when they get that a little further moved out, we're probably going to have to move the Cadillac and the GMC again. Well, it's always fun to drive the Cadillac. I wish the GMC is drivable. It will be. <laughs> so I've got this thing set up all around the perimeter here. Still got wasps in the window. So I may have to spray at them again. I saw them going in and out of there today. Oops. But that's the story thus far. We have something else over here, although this isn't ready for use yet. This is um there's the front clip for the Cadillac. Bag. We'll have to be careful with that. This is the rollout insulation that will be going underneath the concrete floor because we are putting heat in the floor using PEX tubing and I believe a glycol-like system. Glycol, huh? Yep. It doesn't freeze? So it won't freeze. That's one of the reasons. Anyway, this is insulation that the concrete will then be placed on top of. This stuff is basically glorified and very expensive bubble wrap. Mm -hmm. So that's the update as of August 30th, 2010 for Project Garage. Wow, it's really taking shape pretty fast.